members of Arakan questioned my identity and means. This author has been doing but one thing. Honing my skills. Ooh, welcome to DBL. That was a sneak peek at season two of the hit Netflix show Bridgerton. It premieres on March 25th. But if you can't wait that long, there's a new Bridgerton inspired <laughs> reality dating show called The Courtship coming to NBC on March 6th. Let's take a look. I can't wait. Once upon a time. Modern dating, it's not working. A young woman began a quest for true love. We're in a fairy tale. You've been transported back in time. Can the old ways of court trip lead to new romance more etiquette and being proper and chivalry i'm loving this a journey where swiping is out and courting is in the woman's parents are also involved meeting and weeding out her 16 suitors why'd you make that face jeff your parents are coming too yes to that's the old, it out. and it's also the old school way of doing it so you if have you're to like wow i can't find somebody on my own and if i dress up like bridgerton maybe we'll fall in love yeah. no, I, and I my think, dad too okay i think the point is that <laughs> it's right the most now embarrassing thing i've ever let seen a family do on, let, her talk. let me finish instead of swipe 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 and not ever really making a connection of courting of wooing yes. of spending time being chivalrous and introducing yourself to the parents having dinner Horseback riding walks. Yes. Walks. Yes. yes. All things that weren't fun. <laughs> we we got rid of all that as soon as we got technology. You and, notice we don't do any of those things. Okay, but you know When's what? the last time you saw somebody with uh, gloves that went up to their elbow? No one does that okay, anymore because there's no the fun with that. Put the gloves aside. Back to Tori's point. Courtship is dead. Yeah. If Mark never wooed and courted Amen. me, I never would have met him. If my dad never followed my mom I know that sounds bad followed my mom like for a period of a few weeks at their college campus and finally got her to go on a date you he mean stalking no, he courted her an open intimidation no. that is he courted her so what's stalking then following no, somebody for a few courting weeks her he what she, she was spent ready. the time she that's what everybody that stalks says she just these are the bushes my I used to hide she doesn't know I love her point is if my dad did not court Agreed. my mother I would not be here today but we are all here because somebody Somebody courted, so that completely uh, dissolves the purpose of this show, which is courting. I assume that you uh, pursued your your wife, who then you've been married, so it worked. Brooks, Brooks did the same with did you. To me. You're, you just said that. Uh, You're the Mark most did. chivalrous guy I know. So uh, yeah, and I so also don't need a merry-go-round because I'm not eight, Sam. <laughs> I, I, it's like if we're gonna be at the amusement park, like get some cotton candy. It's like they had all the boring stuff. They had the grown people, but no apples. They don't have any cotton candy. That this just looks boring. Oh, so it nice. looks so boring. I, you know, to be honest with you, I. I read something called Bodice Rippers, and they're uh, romance novels. And it goes back in the day when this Duke, who's an Irish man who's angry a lot, gets on his horse and finds her, and they fall in love. And for a lot of people out there, this type of romance yeah. has not been around for at least two years. The, of the romance pandemic. of an angry man on horseback no, finding no. his woman. You're really awful. But what happens, what yeah, happens when you leave the show stalking. and you have to go back to real life? You definitely. And there aren't any horses in. Okay, long well, at least they got to know each other under the under a, a nice guy's False pretenses? Yes, okay. exactly, Jeff.